never slow up No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement Has anybody ever had, that's been in prison, ever had a silly that had capital punishment? Well, I did. Two of them, as a matter of fact. I'll explain why. When I first got sent to prison, you know, after the diagnostic center and all that, I went to Missouri State Penitentiary. Three house was where I was at, but underneath what we called the basement was where they had death row. In between three house and two house, some of you older uh, ex-cons may know as F and G Hall, they had a fenced in area for them to have their own little yard and everything. A few years after I was there, they built Potosi Correctional Center. Potosi Correctional Center is for those with capital punishment and those who have messed up in other prisons. You know, you, you, you do a stabbing or something, you get sent there. You know, major violations. And you do nine months in the hole there. So years later, I was set up. You know, I was in Farmington. Me and another guy went to the hole. He's the one, actually the one that set me up. He, he, I wouldn't know if he'd call it a setup. He just said I was involved in it and I wasn't. They sent him to Crossroads. They sent me to Potosi Correctional Center. Did my nine months in the hole. And what I was not expecting is when I got out of the hole to have somebody with a cap of punishment, CP as they call them, as a celly. That was my first celly. It was just crazy, man. It was weird to me, you know. And so I asked him one day, one morning, I said, you know, there's something on my mind. He, he kind of knew there was something on my mind. And he asked about it you know at first I said nothing and then I said yeah there is something on my mind he goes what is it I said you have capital punishment he said yeah he goes but I'm gonna beat it I'm going to court and all that and I said yeah all of you are every single one of you I ain't wishing you bad on that or anything I got my own thoughts on it but you gotta try I guess I said my thing is what if you wake up one morning and say man they're going the state of Missouri is going to execute me you know what's the use and then I'm going to take out as many as I can. The first person you see is me. He goes, oh, man, he goes, we're not like that. You know, all of us CPs, we're not like that. They got us medicated. That made me feel a lot better. And I told him that, too. He goes, no, seriously, you see us every evening. We go up and get our meds. It keeps us calm and everything. It's you lifers and everything, it always gets in trouble. And um, which end up being true. I think the state of Missouri is the only state that has capital punishment, and general population. And they tried to make them go to school. You know, they wanted that money. They get so much for each person that's enrolled. And they filed on it and said, you know, why should we have to go to school? You know, really, why did we even have to work? And a lot of them, they didn't, you know. Some of them did have jobs. Why should they have to do anything? I mean, they're getting ready. I would be the same way. Man, you can't make me do nothing, man. You guys are going to take me out. Make me. That would be my attitude. But most of them, a lot of them, get involved in programs. Many of them are involved in newsletters, you know, for the prison, trying to help others. Other, others are involved in speaking to others in prison as well as those on the outside, you know, victims and stuff. You'd be amazed at how many are involved in all that. A lot of them are doing good, trying to do good their last few days, you know. Or however much time they got left. But it's just weird seeing them in population. I mean, if you don't believe me, just look it up. It's, it's crazy. I said I had two of them. I actually, I just remember now I had three. And the second one I had, I already did a video on that. He and I got into it in the kitchen and got in a fight. The other one, I used to work out in the cell with him whenever we wasn't allowed out or anything. We'd work out together, you know. And um, I remember when they took him away, man. Um, they take, they take them two weeks prior to their execution over to medical. I thought, man, that's, that's really messed up, man. I was, he and I got along good, but uh, I've just known that, you know, in a couple of weeks he was going to be uh, executed was just kind of weird. There was one in there. The CO came in next day, his hand all bandaged up and everything. And we're, we're making jokes about him. Well, your wife wasn't doing anything for you. You hurt your hand. You, you know, stupid things like that. And he told us, he said, no. He said, I was last night, I was on the detail to me and another CO 
to execute this guy to the, to the execution room and said, he stopped, said it's nothing personal, but I'm not just going to walk down there. And he said he started fighting the best he could. And he said that's what happened to him. Uh, my arm, a uh, hand, it got trying to restrain him and it got messed up. He said, I don't blame him. I would have done the same thing. But anyway, they started, the CO started complaining, saying that he's getting to know him. And it was bothering them mentally. Now, even though they hold them capital punishment in Potosi, when they get ready to execute them, they send them down to Bowling Green. I mean, not Bowling Green, uh, Bon Terre. I think it's called ERDCC or something like that. And they sent them down there to execute them. But it's only because the COs complained that they was, it, it was bothering them mentally, you know, that they was getting to know them. If the inmates would have complained, they wouldn't have done nothing. That's just, I've, you know, I've said something in different videos when I'm talking about different people. I said things about them being in general population. So I just want to make a full video on that and uh, let you guys know how it is, you know. Oh, one more thing. So when they, they execute them around midnight, when they were still being executed in Potosi. So the next morning, for the first couple hours, we was locked down. I don't know why. I, I guess they was going to see how we was going to react or anything or something. And then after a couple hours, they'd open the doors and let us out. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.